Hey everyone, it's Phoebe, and I have another great update for you for Colorway on especially how you can assign. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. I wanted to do a separate video for this because I know assigning is a little bit more difficult now. So I wanted to do a brief review of how we can add in colorways and all of that. So just as a reminder, there are now two ways for colorways. There is the simple way in which I feel like 90% of you should still keep doing. And then there's a little bit more um, robust way, which will allow you to add in custom set like settings. So you can add in different ways in which to add your colorways. So materials, the materials are only changing. All properties, the properties, all the properties are changing, to, changing apart from each other from each colorway and linking is linking all properties like materials and everything together. And when we say properties, think of the property editor. So materials is the material part of the property editor. All properties is all of the properties in the, in the property editor and linking is linking everything within the property editor to every single colorway. So like think of it that way. You can of course do this by each fabric and all of that. So all of these are just material different. So all of the colors can be different, all of the textures can be different, but at the end of the day, the physical properties of all of these are exactly the same. That's how I've added them in. So it's the traditional way. Now, I just created a random fabric here that's bright red to just help us understand these differences. And so you can also see the change. Just as a refresher, you can drag and drop in both the 3D and also the colorway window. If you drag and drop in the 3D, please be aware what you're doing is editing the pattern, okay? You're not editing the whole colorway. So if you're editing the pattern, then you're editing certain parts of your pattern. So here I can cycle through between current colorway, materials and linking. So assign to current colorway only, assign to all colorways by unlinking materials. That means that only the materials part of the property editor will be unlinked or assign to all colorways by, un by linking everything together. So that means all the colors will change, all of the properties will change, everything. So if I do assign to current colorway, that means only this one colorway is going to be affected. None of the other ones will. So if I drag and drop, this is only going to affect this one pattern piece and it's only going to affect this one colorway. So I'll go to colorway A and I can select the same exact pattern piece, but you can see this is still fabric one. If I go to colorway one and I select this pattern piece, you now see that this is fabric one, not fabric zero one. Wow, I did not make that easy to say. Now I'm going to hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'm going to basically undo this. Now, if I drag and drop and I hit Control and I say assign to all colorways by unlinking materials, this will affect all colorways. And the only property, though, that I will be able to change is the, the material part of it. So this is going to change to affect all the colorways. The fabric of this property is going to be overwritten by everything else, but I can change all of the materials between them all. So if I drag and drop, you can see every single colorway now, if I hit update, will have this red at that pattern. Okay? That's how all of them will work because I'm changing the pattern, not the fabric. Okay? That's what's happening when you're dragging and dropping in your 3D window. You're changing the pattern, not the fabric. But now because I picked like link all colorways, but without materials, I can go to black this colorway A one, right? I, it's still going to be fabric one, but I can change this so that it's black, right? I can go to the white one and the colorway A option one, and I can change this to be oh, white, apply. I can go to the green one, change this to be green, right? I'm 
now when I hit update, as you can see, the color has changed, but the physical properties have it here, right? So that's really useful to just, you know. Okay, so the final option we have is when you're dragging and dropping into your 3D window, you have linking all properties. This will link even the, mater the material section. Again, I can drag and drop it in here. You're gonna see there's a little link option right here. So if I change any of these colors, it will all change together. So if I change this to green, all of them will be green, right? All of them are green. Great. So that's what happens when you assign in your 3D window, okay? Again, it only adjusts the pattern, not the fabric in total. Now you have these same three options when you drag and drop into your colorway editor, okay? So you have current colorway only, unlinking materials, and linking all properties. So let's say colorway only, right? Let's say I drag and drop on top of here. This is only going to affect this colorway, right? I don't even know what I changed. Let's do this one, right? This is only affecting this colorway. It's not changing any others. All of the others are still your front and back that are different. It's only affecting this one colorway. No others. This is a cute raincoat. I like the colors. Okay. This is only affecting this. Let's go back. And the other way in which you can add in colorways is all colorways by unlinking materials. So let's just do this bottom one and I can drop this in. And this is unlinking the materials, but it's because I'm going to apply it to the, this one too. And this one as well. I can then select all of these, right click and say materials. And then this is all set. I can then select the fabric and I can change out the colors for each colorway. Now, the other way in which you can do this is you're going to link all properties and I can drag and drop it here. And now all of these are linked because I selected link all properties. All linked together. Again, well, what will happen here is now if I do change one color, it will change all of them, right? Right here. And yeah. So those are all the ways in which you can assign and add in colors and like fabrics and change them out. Now that I've gone over how that happens, let me go over what the update is, right? So the update is in your user settings, which again, top toolbar settings, and then user settings. And then you can go to other, I believe. Yes, in other. You then have colorway and you can choose here if you want to assign to current colorway only or assign to all colorways. And this is like your default, right? So this will be the default first option. So you can say assign to all colorways. I'm going to do materials and then I'm going to hit close. What this will do is when you first drag and drop, that will be your first option you always see. So if you know normally this is always going to be the one you pick, then like perfect then this is perfect for you but if you know it's the other one then do the other one you can of course use control to switch through them all but in your user settings you can pick which one you want to be like the default one for you and again that's in settings user settings other and then right here colorway and then you can pick which one pretty nifty i hope you like the recap
Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Someone will get back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out all of our clo like videos on our YouTube channel. So much great information. Thanks again for watching and keep having fun in Clo.